planty people I'm Lorinda thank you for visiting my channel steady as she grows well today I have a problem all my little seedlings and my plants outside are getting eaten alive by the pill bugs I know there's a lot of people out there right now who are having the same problem as me the pill bugs because of the rain maybe there are just so many and I'll come out in the morning and my plant will be all you know dead laying there and it's just covered in pill bugs so i found a solution to the problem it doesn't cure the problem but it really helps some people use traps with maybe beer or apple cider vinegar or other things but this method works really well for me and we use an orange um, this orange is kind of rotted so i think it's the perfect piece of fruit for me to use right now. I have a few oranges that are about to turn, so this is perfect timing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these oranges in maybe quarters, like so. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these around the garden, and overnight the pill bugs will come and they'll crawl all over the oranges. Then I'll go out in the morning and see it covered and scoop them all up and throw them in the trash so so they better watch out for me because I'm coming for them yes I am and this method works every time I've tried it there's so many and every day it'll be less and less and I like to put these near my newly planted seedlings so the pill bugs will go to this instead of my seedlings so it works for me. So I'm going to finish cutting these up and then we're going to go out into the garden and we're going to place them around and I'll show you tomorrow what will happen. It's a pretty blood orange. It's about to turn. Eh, too bad I missed that one. Maybe I'll do one more orange. I think that should be enough for the garden. This one can probably get cut a little more. Okay. So I got all my oranges cut up. And what I'm gonna do is take a plastic fork and stick them in the oranges. So in the morning, all we have to do is lift up the fork. We don't even have to touch the orange with all the creepy crawlies on it. We just lift it up, and then I usually get like uh, my shovel and just scoop the pill bugs into the trash, and then whatever pill bugs are piled on the ground underneath the orange, I'll scoop them up and throw them away too. Plastic forks. And what I'll do is I'll stick the fork in it like this. So, and I'll just put them like that in the ground. Easy peasy. So we're gonna go out to the garden right now and place these. So, here we go. Okay, pit stop number one. Maybe right here. Yummy, yummy for the pill bugs. Until they're dead. Okay. Sorry. I'm trying to do this with one hand here. Just gonna place it right there just like that and tomorrow it'll be covered and I'll throw them all away I know it's a brutal death but hey I garden Game of Thrones style all right next one maybe right here between my tomato plant and my peony just like that Next pit stop, my peppers. And I've also noticed some holes from some worms. And I sprayed with DT yesterday, which is an organic bacteria that the caterpillars will eat. And it only kills caterpillars. I think it stands for Bacillus thuringiensis, which really seems to work. It works on the hornworms too, any type of caterpillar. Look, this is a plant that got eaten by the roly polies. It was a cucumber plant. Oh well. I'm gonna place this one right there. 
Honey Boat Delicata. You're falling over. You got eaten too. Or maybe you're just not deep enough. I don't know. The soil does feel kind of dry. I need a water. My sprinkler system like busted, so I need to fix it. Always a never ending project in the garden. But we love it, right? Acorn squash. I'm gonna put one right here next to this little transplant I put out here. This little guy popped up right over there next to those and I decided we don't need that many right there so I pulled it out and put it right here. Hopefully it'll survive. So I'm trying to stab this orange right here. I'm gonna put it right there. All right. And I think I'll put one in this bed too. These two planters here last year had tons of pill bugs in them. I haven't seen a whole lot this year. I think because we had a lot of lizards around, but I'm gonna place a couple oranges in these little beds too, just in case. There we go. And there we go, that's fine. Oh, I'm out of forks. That's my, that's my celery plant that I really need to cut down. Look, it's really windy today. The camera probably sounds horrible out in the wind here, so I apologize. I need to get a windscreen. Oh, look at my roses though, real quick. Look at how beautiful they are. Isn't that such a pretty color? It's like a pinky purple. The package looked very pale pink, so I'm super excited it's not pale pink, because I'm not fond of it, but they're beautiful. And they smell so good. All right, guys, we'll come out here in the morning and check the oranges, okay? Stay tuned. Good morning, planty people. It's Lorinda, it's the next day. Got my coffee. I am not a morning person. And the last thing I wanna do is kill a bunch of roly polies. So we're gonna go see my traps. I'm gonna check on a few. I'm taking a little break from work right now to do this. So we won't be able to check all the traps but I'm curious to see if we caught anything. So hang on as we go check our oranges. I'm gonna grab my bucket here to scoop the roly polies into and my shovels. And let's see. All right, one right here. Closest one. Ooh. Look at all those. Let's see. Oh my goodness, gross. So, I'm going to take this guy and look at those roly polies. Look at those roly polies. Gross. I'm going to scrape him into my bucket. Put that back. You could use the oranges quite a few times. And I'm going to scrape up the rest of these guys right here. Yes, you lose a little bit of soil, but not much. And I'm gonna dump them into my bucket. I probably caught about, ooh, maybe 30 roly polies just from this one orange. Better than the sticky traps that I've tried. All right that back and I'll check that one again tomorrow on to the next one okay here's another one let's see see with the fork you don't even have to touch it ew creepy crawlies I'm just gonna scrape them into my bucket. Just like that. And then the bugs down there, put that one back. I'm gonna try to scoop some of these.
Actually, it might be a little easier with my hand. Bye, Felicia. Don't crawl away from me. Get up here. And like I said, we can use these oranges quite a few times. Look at all these creepy crawlies that I caught. That one's spazzing out. Sorry guys. You go into that big garden in the sky. Well, there you have it. Hopefully this helps you catch those little creepy crawly critters that eat your plants. I do not like them. If you have another tip that you want me to try, let me know, I'll try it. If you have a video that you saw about people catching roly polies, send it to me, I'll watch it. I just, you know, wanna do this as organically as possible. I don't wanna use sprays or chemicals. So a little legwork, you know, really goes a long way. And I would say, I probably caught about maybe 50, about 50 bugs. There were a lot on some of those, but I've noticed this year, there's not as many as I had last year. Last year I had a huge infestation, and this year it hasn't been so bad, and I do think it's because of the lizards. <laughs> they are the little soldiers in your garden that just go to town eating the bugs, and I have so many lizards this year. It drives my dog Daisy crazy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you haven't yet, get out and grow something. It's a beautiful day. I'll talk to you guys later. See you on the next one. Bye.